And then he photo took a picture, uh, which his office now says was a joke, uh, that showed him uh, potentially not actually groping, but mock groping her uh, while she was asleep. I don't doubt his remorse at all. Um, and he admitted he did what he did. There was a picture of it, and he didn't remember the messy kiss, but whatever. Which is, she said, he won. That was an explanation in and of itself, was basically that Al Franken was contrite. Donald Trump never sh has shown any contrition except in that very short taped apology. Al Franken has very much leaned into accepting responsibility for this particular incident and uh, calling for an investigation by the Ethics Committee to be conducted into his own conduct. That seems to have done a lot to quiet his critics in his own party. He was not a member of Congress. At the time this occurred, he was just a comedian. Franken has no effect on her at this particular time in her life. Bottom line, Leanne Tweeden reads this apology on The View this morning. I have tremendous respect for your work for the USO, and I am ashamed that my actions ruined that experience for you. I am so sorry. Sincerely, Al Franken. Good letter. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a show watched by women, hosted by women, very much in that in that sort of demographic area. And when she's done reading the apology, one of the hosts says, "You know, that's pretty good," and and the crowd applauds it. So there seems to be a movement here toward allowing this to kind of work its course uh, with Al Franken. And Look at Franken, and I'm sure he's remorseful, and I'm sure he's beating himself up over it because he's in a lot of trouble o over this. And I, I want to just point out about her, which is she hasn't recommended any remedies. She hasn't said he ought to lose his seat. I don't, she she ought hasn't. To, That's a she good point. She hasn't said a thing. She, and he is suffering tremendously.